these are generalist diseases with a range of hosts. Um, powdery mildew is the first one we're, we're going to talk about, and it's a fungus that um, a fungus that affects a lot of greens grown by upstate farmers, like chard, lettuce, mustard, as well as crops like tomatoes. It's a very common pest. Now, most of the harm inflicted by powdery mildew is going to be aesthetic, all right? It can cause yellowing, it can cause scented growth, it can cause some deformed leaves, but usually it just looks nasty and makes it really hard to sell, even to a CSA group. So keep that in mind. It's not something you want to have, but it's not going to result in huge yield loss. Probably, depending on how out of hand it gets. So the most effective management of powdery mildew is going to be monitoring and removal of affected plants and plant parts. Check all the time for signs of infection. Remember that should be the first thing that you do when you go on your farm. And once you've identified a powdery mildew infection, remove the affected leaves as close to the sock as possible and then throw them away. Don't compost them. Um, those spores will, will exist for a long time in the compost and bring up problems more later. Uh, serenade spray is one pesticide that I can recommend to you. It's an over-the-counter biological fungal chemical control. Fungicides usually work best as a preventative measure for uh, powdery mildew um, and also can function as a mitigator in the early stages of the disease development. There are also a lot of horticultural oils that you can control powdery mildew with. Um, also, sulfur sprays or burners can be effective. Um, again, always follow the instructions and uh, don't apply uh, sulfur sprays within two weeks of oils that can cause real problems. 